Okay, Taji, time to do the bum line. No pain, no gain, they say, right? Okay, relax. And then just take a big breath. Keep your toes a wiggle. Go wiggle, 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 wiggle. So I've been appearing on camera for quite some time now, um, but recently uh, I started to open up a little more and uh, I've actually um, come as far as going full nude. As a result of that, come to the realization that uh, I am actually quite hairy. So today, the laser hair removal. Laser hair removal. All right, so I just stumbled upon Urban Body Laser. I paid over $4,000 for one session, came out with scarred legs and no refund or apology. These technicians are amateurish. They call themselves professionalists, but they aren't. The treatment left me with so many dark patches on my face. These people play with people's skin. They burned my skin. I'm going to check out the website. Urban Body. All right, so I've just come across the balls and all manscaping treatments for men. Many people are not aware of it, but it's quite common for men to have hair grow on their shaft. One of the biggest concerns among men is the fear of getting an erection during treatment. While some men do get an erection, <laughs> it's not even funny. Um, it's a nervous laugh. The chance of having my genital skin burned was one thing, but the possibility of getting an erection on camera could be detrimental to my career. Nevertheless, it would not stop me from getting to the bottom of these one-star reviews. How's it going? Oh, hi, nice to meet you. Hi. I'm nice Katie. To meet you. Welcome to Rimbody Laser. And you're here for your consultation and balls and all treatment today? Precisely. My name is Janice, I've been your consultation so today. So nice to meet Come you. Come this way, my dear. I'm Taji, thank you. Come on in. So I've basically come to kind of get like more of a fresh start, like a new look down there, you okay. know, that I guess I haven't had in like basically ever. Now that Janice and I were acquainted, she went on to explain the balls and all procedure in more detail. Balls and all is whatever you want it to be. So it's the shaft, it's the testicles, it's the bikini area above, it's between the bum cheeks. These people play with people's skin. There are possibilities of having burns. They burned my skin. It can happen. We have a, a thing for you to sign. Make sure no sweating for 24 hours. This is a picture of someone who did exactly what he was not supposed to do. Do you have any advice, I guess, for keeping it cool down you there? You know what, we actually do have uh, some pre-post care, which I totally forgot to grab. I usually do that. Sorry about that. Did you have any like specific questions for me? Like, I, um, I mean... Well, one in particular I came across when I was reading um, all the info on your site. Yeah. It mentioned um, the potential of an erection. Yes, which... it's absolutely possible, but you know what? It's a complete physiological response to having something touch the area. For me personally, I like it because it makes it easier to treat because the area is a little bit harder and the surface is larger, so it's easier to treat. It Janice happens, was being really reassuring, really and the fact that, that a larger and more robust surface area could make it a smoother experience made me feel a lot better. It'll be good. Cool. Be good. Okay, I'm gonna grab the iPad. All right, I'm gonna pull this off, take some pictures, just to kill the area. And then with the hair that you have in between your bum cheeks, is it all the way up or is it just around the anus area? I mean, I could just show you, I don't mind. It's like basically just my ass, like. Yeah, it's pretty much the whole bum cheeks. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get rid of most of it with this everywhere that you wanna get okay. rid of the hair. So just, yeah, just pull them up and so shave. So carefully and see. Just carefully, like yeah. And sacks. if there's some stragglers on there, I can help you with that. Relax. Let it breathe. And I think that's it. Great, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. He's so hairy, I feel so bad. I'm gonna stick it up there now. Oh God. Oh, God damn it. All right. 
fucking motherfucker. I think I cut my ball sack. Janice? Um, so yeah, I'm so hairy and confused that if you do want to give me a hand, yes, that would be amazing. Yes, I will. Amazing. Pop up here. Okay, should okay. we start with the rear or the front? What do you suggest? Um, let's go front. Now, take him and pull him that way. All, All the, the way, way up. up. Yep. And just let it chill there. No, like, I need you to grab him. Like, hold it like and this, you mean? And then pull him up. Yeah. Oh, like pull. Yes, I need you to stretch the testicles out so okay. I can actually treat. There we go. I had mixed feelings. Fear as I got closer to a laser service that could potentially burn my most sensitive area but also full of admiration for Janice and her skills. I'm admiring your skills at achieving all of this. Like, <laughs> I, I'm uh, not to jinx it or anything, but I'm very impressed at the precision of the sheave. We had a guy one time, he came in for a laser hair removal, and he literally, like, his shaft was so hairy and so dense, and he's like, Whoa. I need to save my marriage. Pretty Whoa. much. So we treated him, he was so happy. He's like, oh my God, it's crazy. Wow, so I guess the laser hair removal can go beyond just appearance, oh, but even like sure. change lives, change lives and I had a guy, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's okay, maybe pull I should tight. pull. I got pull too tight. distracted. It's okay. She's just booting up the machine, it seems, and we're about to begin with the laser part of the treatment. All right. How do I do this again? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> this, Good you know, this, is, this is the very first time I've done this. Awesome. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm excited. <laughs> so it's going to be right, quite cold. Okay. It's going to kind of feel the sensation of your hair is being pulled out with a pair of tweezers. Okay. And go. Can you smell that sort of burnt yeah, hair? Yeah, smell a little burning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, good one. Time to do the bum line. So no pain, no gain, they say, right? Okay, relax. And then just take a big breath. Keep your toes a wiggle. Go, wiggle, 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 wiggle. Oh, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. While Janice was in the zone, there felt like no better time to ask her about the one-star reviews her business had been receiving online. And you mentioned you've been, you've had your business for about 16 years? Yeah, we've been removing hair off balls for 16 years. Oh my gosh. Has there been any like negative effect at all because of the internet, like with all the reviews and stuff? Or has I, it been I, fairly... I think it's been pretty good because we're really, like, we take our reviews very seriously and we have a lot of really great, um, you know... Someone mentioned skin pigmentation. Another person was claiming these dark burns. Another yep. person mentioned scarring, I think. Did you read my response? Because I do my very best to, to, like, respond to those. And there was a girl that didn't, didn't have scarring. It's called flaking. It's actually not a burn, it's, a, it's just crusting, which is a good thing. I'm thinking it was a miscommunication on our end for not explaining that to her properly. So there's been yeah. a little trial and error throughout yes. the communication, kind of. Like th There's one that I can think of on Yelp where she had really, uh, her skin wasn't the healthiest. It was really important that she change her skincare routine. Her skin ended up getting very irritated. Someone mentioned the cream didn't work that they were told to purchase to, to rectify. If that's the same one, I, I have to look at it. But if it's that one, it was one of those situations where maybe we didn't do our job in influencing them enough. Certainly. So I guess sometimes like things with the communication have kind of been an issue, but you've like kind of work through it, it seems. It breaks my heart when I see reviews because that's not what we want people to have. We want them to have an awesome experience, but we're not perfect. We do make mistakes. For the most part, we own it. You know, they're upset about something and it's either we've done something wrong or there was, you know, a miscommunication or they didn't, you know, take the advice that we gave them and then something happened and then, but we still have to take ownership of it. I think a lot of people are quick to just kind of go to their computer, you know, and leave yeah. a complaint before they necessarily talk. Pick up the phone and call me. I am totally like, you know, come sit down in our office with me. Give me a hug. Tell me you're upset. I don't know, whatever. We'll make up and I'll give you a hug afterwards. And you are all done. Wow. Awesome. Should I get up now or you no, want to check I it gotta, out? I need to wipe off the gel. Uh, of course. I'll hang out. Yeah, you just hang out. These guys probably want more shots anyway.
next to me. Sitting Taji. next to me, you. I was so nervous coming in, like I know no, if it would did hurt, great. but no, but I feel like great. um doing it with you was like so good with communication and just like awesome. I feel it was like a pro job. I feel like your attention to detail Aww. was very good because you seem to have gotten all the spots. Thank Good. you so much. You're welcome. So nice to meet you all. Yeah. Nice um, to meet you, Taji. <laughs> He's like a little kid. I went to Urban Body Laser, aware of my body's hairy situation and the allegations of an aftermath of skin complications. I was greeted by the business owner, Janice, who confirmed all the risks associated with the procedure of this kind. I settled for the balls and all, to test the service to its absolute limit. And I'm quite pleased to say everything was smooth, if you know what I mean. Janice is a patient person who sees the best in her customers of all kinds who come through her doors. I discussed Janice's negative reviews with her and she opened my eyes to the many benefits of clear communication and learning from feedback, especially when negative. She has taken her negative reviews and used them to build her business to flourish. So I wanna thank you, Janice, as I embark on my new hair-free, care-free journey. And if you ask me, I think it was a very good decision. Balls and all. Camera okay, guy's getting a pretty good view there, I guess. Yep. Huh? What did I flip you over and you gotta oh my open God. up your bum cheeks? <laughs> Who's next?